Okay, hello YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to download TeamViewer. TeamViewer is used to take over someone's computer, but you have to have permission. You have to have an ID and a password, which are given, and you'll be able to see. This is what the icon looks like, right here, TeamViewer. It's, um, it's a really neat program. What's going to happen, though, is if you have it for a while and you use it, what's going to happen is it's going to ask you to subscribe again where you, all you do is just enter in your email address and then just confirm it but it's free and it's really useful I use it all the time like when someone has a problem on their computer what I do is I say can you please download TeamViewer and they do then I ask them to give me some certain numbers which uh, they have a number of ID and a password and then then they can watch and their mouse moves it's really cool Alright, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to download this, and then maybe if I have enough time, I'll show you how to use it. Okay, what you need to do is you need to open up your Internet Explorer, Safari, whatever you run, or whatever you prefer. Me, I want to use um, Foxfire. Let's give it a second while it loads. Ah, whoops, not supposed to see. Why is this coming up? Oh, I just switched over my computer to administration. And now it just... I, I had to do that. So I can do some certain stuff, but... Alright. That's my default. Okay. We are on Foxfire. Sorry about that delay. Okay, what you need to go to is www.tamviewer.com teamviewer.com Okay, you should see a site that looks like this. You know, teamviewer. See this girl that pops up. Okay, what you want to look for is download now for free. Yeah, right here. Click it. Save file. Now. Is this what's going to come up? Just give it a second. And the best part about it, while I was noting, is this also works for Mac. So if you Mac people out there, you can use it. Now this is not a very large file, it only requires 1.6 megabytes, which is very small. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it. Click run, or whatever your computer says. No, don't cancel it, whatever you do. I'm going to install it again. Just, okay. Here it says, you know, how, do you, how are you going to use TeamViewer? Use it for personal, non-commercial use, because I don't. I've never checked that, but there are team viewers out there that you have to buy, which you know is bogus. But you have to. So use this because it's free. You have to agree both, and then you just use normal installation. You don't need this. Well, if you want to, you can, but I wouldn't recommend it. But it's your computer. Okay. As you can see, it's installing very quickly and it is done. Team viewer. Finished. Okay, now it's gonna pop up. Well it should. Okay, there it is down there. And then here it is. Team viewer. You know. Um you have your ID and password, you know, right here. And then you have right here you have where you put it in. And it really, it really does a good job. Um, you can use remote support, you know, file transfer, whatever. Then what you do is you connect to your partner, and then they have to have the program on as well. But you connect to them, and I will say authorizing. You know, you'll see this icon down here change. Oh, and by the way, the password changes every time. So you guys that saw my password, it's going to change when I close this program. But what you do 
you know, it, down here it'll say authorizing, etc. You know what the heck? I, you know what the heck? I'll just show you. Okay, this is the part that's probably gonna make you hackers mad, but you have to have the person, the person that has this on the other pro, on their other computer. They have to have it open, and they have to redo off passwords and ID numbers, which change every time. So I'm sorry, hackers. It's not gonna be that easy. Okay, what you would do is you would type it in here, and be sure you put in the spaces. The spaces are very important. Then you're gonna connect to partner, and then as I said, it's down here. So setting up secure connection. So all it's doing is just connecting, contacting the computer and say, hey, I want to connect. You need to enter in a password. Please enter the session password as displayed on your partner's computer. And as I said, this ch these numbers change every time. Push login. And then there's the computer I'm taking control of. You know. This happens to be my other computer which I use. Down you know, has XP, as you can tell, but I just modded it. You know, you have all your actions, you know, if I want to switch to view or you know, remove wallpaper. I can put the wallpaper back up, which is doing right now, but it makes a lag. And then you know you have you know what else do you have? Quality. You want to keep it on optimized speed. You can have optimized quality. Uh, you know there it is. But as you see, it's all laggy. So I will keep your quality here. Optimized speed. That's you know you can you think that has to be there and that doesn't. And see there it is. Say if I wanna I don't know. Let's go on the internet down the computer downstairs. You know I can go on the internet. Have fun with that. And now note, I'm still on Vista, as you can see. It's on my other. On my that's my computer in the background. Okay, but here I'm on the other. I don't know. What's a pop in Google? Oh, I can't spell. There we go. See so Google, and it's on the computer down here. Now, see down here. I can close. I can end session by clicking this, or I can end session by clicking this doesn't really matter, just push one of the X's either or. See, look, I'm going to exit out. Then it says, and it just says, thank you for using Team Viewer. And thank you for playing fair and not hacking someone's computer. Okay? X, X, and then X. And that's how you use Team Viewer. It does pop up as this. And you're probably wondering what this bar is, this um, rocket bar. I'll make another tutorial on how to get this. Uh, and it's really easy. It uses a point like like five megabytes of RAM, not much, you know. All right, thank you for watching, and if you like this video, please subscribe.